Då blink it your bye in quarter to welcome to the show. Cuz I think well because I'm having a wonderful 20th of October smitten by life. It is a divine intervention. It is a pretty cool subject. But before I start I want to shout out to an, a person, kind of cool person, kind of like a really cool person. Let's shout out X I C U I 4 C U X. I see I for see you cuz she's actually pretty cool. No one's in your face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake, cause I don't fucking care. This song may be this song. You've been out all night, don't know where you've been. So, yeah, so I wanna shout her out because she gave me this idea for this video, and this video kinda slaps. So, you guys know me, right? Uh, I'm this kind of guy with a lot of energy, right? Very, a lot of energy, which is. Possibly the fact that I'm hyperactive. Possibly the fact that I'm a kick-ass dude. Hopefully it's a kick-ass dude. Kick-ass dude, please. Cool. Um, and she's one of my friends. One of my friends that's a bit more reserved, a bit more um, calm. And then again, Inc., if you compare you with other people, they're always going to feel calmer. And that's life, right? But I... I, I We've been friends for a while, and with her, I can be myself, which is a great thing, right? And um, she, 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 I don't know, she, she I, don't, I didn't feel a lot of energy from her, so I'm like, okay, let's make her laugh. Because when people are sad, what the Inky do, it makes them laugh. Usually talks about this childhood trauma. That makes a lot of people laugh. Don't ask me why, it just does. And uh, I don't know why I said that, but, um, oh yeah, so I said something, and then I was like, I hope you have a good beginning of the week. And uh, I don't know why I blew that out. Um... And I said, I hope you had a shitty week. And I meant that as a joke. Of course, I meant that as a joke. But then she laughed. And I, was, I felt so bad because I was like, holy shit, thank God she thinks it's a joke. Because on the, on the um, when I wrote it, I was, I was like, okay, well, she knows it's going to joke. But then for a couple of minutes, I'm like, maybe she won't know, you know. But then she laughed. I'm like, phew, they don't offend people. Because you don't want to offend your friend. Even though it's not on purpose, you don't want to be a dick to your friend. And I tend to be a dick to my friend. Uh, for the uh, excuse of laughing and making, or joking with them, you know? And uh, so thank God. But then after that, I was like, dude, there's something there. And I didn't know why. It's like subconsciously I spoke. And I, I didn't have a filter and I said, what should a shitty week, a shitty week? And then I was like, why does that make sense? Then I read the conversation. I realized that what I said was, I hope you, I, I wish you a best week, better week than last week. And a shittier week than the next one. And I realized that in that, all that, that nonsense, all of that madness, all of that um, nonsense, I always said nonsense, I think we're good with the, with the analogy, um, kind of make a lot of sense. So wishing somebody a better week than the last one, right? Because it all happens. And for most of us, for a majority of us, weeks after weeks are going to be shitty. That's just the state of life. There, there's the number... And, Again, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to make you feel negative, but close your eyes and think about the last week where the complete week you had a good week. It's very rare, right? So you think, okay, well, last week was kind of shitty. It was not bad, but it was kind of shitty. So, okay, this happened. What am I going to do? How can I fix it? You cannot fix it, right? So um, you wish, and I said that to her, but I also said it almost to me. Um, and I said... I wish you a better week than last week, right? Because <laughs> if last week wasn't... And this is actually something really nice to say. Even if last week wasn't shitty, you still want a better week than last week because the goal in life, I believe, I believe, I'm not too sure, I believe that the goal in life is possibly to, to better yourself, to improve your situation. You started out as a, 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 uh, a sperm. Oops. Demonetize. You ended up being a fetus. You ended up being a baby. You ended up being a young kid. You ended up being a teen. You ended up being an adult. You be, ended up being a father. You ended up being a grandfather. You ended up being an old piece of crap. And uh, you ended up dying, which is a cycle of life, right? But the, the, nice, the, the, the niceness of the cycle of life is the fact that you are... D d d d to every single period of your life, every stage of your life, you somehow improve, right? And uh, I think that's the that's the goal in life. So wishing you a better week than last week is kind of cool. But then, I <laughs> and that is the most important, right? That is the most important thing ever. You don't want this week to be the best week you ever had, because then there's no, there's no. 
I can't wait for you at the bottom. Battle man. Um, just pretend. Good day. This song, dude. This song. So yeah, you, you wanted that next week to be better because what's the point? And I said as I was talking about this yesterday. Somebody asked me, "How are you so always so happy?" And I was like, "Well, I believe that next week is gonna be better than this one." And I think aiming for a a better or a similar or at least as good week as you just had, I think it's very positive. I think if your if your mentality is going, "Oh, this week's gonna suck," it's gonna suck, right? And in a perfect week, you're gonna say, "Hey, this week is better than the last one." And I understand that constant improvement. I understand that, that constant growth is impossible, right? It, it is impossible. Where the human being is a master at adaptation, but you need a situation to be able to adapt to it. You're not gonna. You're not gonna become a better person by not facing adversity. So wishing that person a shitty week and a better week next time, and it's kind of the goal. And I think that's kind of almost ironic, kind of poetic, also. Wishing you a shitty week because next week was gonna be better, and I believe that even if this shit, even if I, I, as a kid, right, I was told this stupid sentence, I was told this stupid expression. Don't worry about today; tomorrow's gonna be better. And I was like, "That no, that's fucking stupid." But then you realize that no, that's not stupid. That's actually the way to go about life. Thinking that tomorrow might be better, not not. Not assuming that tomorrow's gonna be better day. Not thinking that you're you're granted or you're you're you do a a better day, but just thinking that there's a possibility that tomorrow's gonna be a better day. Kind of poetic, isn't it? So yeah. So just like one of my friends, I'm gonna wish you, your person watching this, not your neighbor, not your not your boss, not your colleague. I'm gonna wish you a better week than last week. A shitty week right now and an amazing week next week on that note no matter how is your week so that you love that you matter that you are important to someone doesn't matter who but to someone and your life is worth it love you guys Peace.